Hey farmers, welcome to the show. Today I'm gonna set the gap on these uh, plugs and then we're gonna put the tractor back together. Come on, let's go do that. Let's go. Last time we, uh, we did the points and the points cap rotor and the new coil right here. Got it all strapped up. It's all ready to go. I just need to go bolt it in and plug it in. But I'm also going to redo the plugs on this dude. So I have a gap for that. For the Ford 2 in, it's supposed to be 025. So we're going to test all these and make sure that they're good. And once they're good, we're going to go put all this stuff on and hopefully it'll work. There it is. That's pretty snug, but there it is. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it to go in there. Oh yeah, these are already pretty much preset. I mean, they feel pretty good anyway. Um, I feel like this one's got a little bit of play in it. So I'm gonna try to smash it down a little bit. So we're gonna straighten that down just a tiny bit. Okay. I have no idea if this is the proper way to do this. If it's not, let me know in the comments down below. Tell me what I need to use, if not these needle nose pliers. There we go. Alright, so that fits in there. I can feel it touching. It's not too snug. Still a little bit wobbly, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. So that one's good. Looks good to me. Alright, so we got those four. We're going to go do that and put them in. Um, yeah, let's do that right now. Let's go do that. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. Quit messing around. All right, guys. Right here on this tractor, I'm going to go ahead and take these spark plugs out and we're going to have a look at them. I took them out already once and they look pretty bad. They look corroded up, had a lot of little black burnt on looking stuff on there that's what leads me to believe that maybe it's having a little bit of blow by this engine is well it's a 1945 so you do the math i'm saying 73 years it's old uh, and it probably has not been rebuilt i'm only guessing but probably not so that might be a future project <clears throat> stay tuned subscribe now if you want to see that happen uh, right now i just need to get this thing running so i can finish out my stuff all right let's take them out let's see what's happening all right I'm putting you guys in a spot that I feel like you might be able to see. If you can, yay. If you can't, well, yay. This one I'm pulling out is piston one. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, I cleaned them pretty good, but you can see down in there, I hope. I hope it focuses. But it's nasty down in there. And it was nasty all like that up here, everywhere. It was nasty. These plugs don't even look that old. I don't know. There's one. All right, the torque specifications on these is like 87,000 pounds or something. I don't know. Just, you know, approximately 87,000. Uh, none of that's true. Please don't 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 try to do that. You'll wind up breaking something. Yeah, see it's funky. Funky chunky monkey. So there's two. So awkward. Probably easier to take this hood off, but the hood is attached to the fuel tank, or actually vice versa. So I just soon not mess with it. That's the fuel tank right there. All right, that was three of four. And let's get this fourth one out and put the new one in. All right, there's that. All four of those are in. Now I'm gonna connect this wire. Goes to the top of the coil to the top of the coil. Now here's where it gets tricky, boys and girls. And I'm sorry that I'm probably going to wind up being in your way, but I kind of need to do some creative finagling back here. I don't know if you can see, but I'm putting that wire on there. Shazam, like that. And then I'm going to put the flat washer and the lock washer. Flat washer first, lock washer second. And then put this little nut on there. Get it started. Uh, I need to do this now because if I <clears throat> if I try to hook this thing up first, uh, it I, it's hard to get in there with any kind of wrench. This is the front mount 
distributor. I may have mentioned it, but you want to make sure that's good and tight. Gets a good connection at the line. Okay, now comes the really fun part, and that is getting this thing on the front of this tractor. Yay! That's funny, I just put that in there and I don't have anything near here. <laughs> okay, word of advice, have your bolts ready. A half, a half inch wrench works. All right, boys, hey, quit your stuff. Dogs wanting to fight, well not fight, but you know, they start playing a little rough and then one of them gets mad. This thing is not really designed for, uh, you know, comfort. Um, there's no, there's no real easy way to get yourself in here unless you're smaller person than me which I feel like is most people uh, you can see I hope you can see anyway uh, this bolt I've got it just kind of started right there well you want to make sure that your it fits in the housing you know if if it doesn't fit flush right here you know all the way tight then you're not in <laughs> and you need to readjust anyway I just got that bolt started so I can go around to the other side and put the other bolt in so let's go around and do that. All right, let's get this other bolt in. It's kind of a tight spot in here, so if you can't see, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do it. I know all you can see right now is the top of my arm, but as soon as I get my arm out of the way, I'll give you kind of a view of what I'm doing here. Okay, so now I don't know. Let me check. I don't know if you can even see that cotton picking bolt. Let's see. So that's the front side, and let's see, where is it, and there's that bolt, I don't know if you can see it past this damn, probably not, well anyway, it's over there, I promise, I'm going to tighten it down. So earlier, earlier I mentioned that uh, that little peg that sticks off the back of the distributor, uh, the front of the engine, it's offset just a little bit. So it'll only go in one way. I had it on backwards. I didn't, I didn't show me taking it off. But yeah, make sure you get it on there right because if you tighten it down, you'll break the distributor. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm out of breath because I'm fat. So uh, this is what it should look like. Flush, tight. Uh, there's there's two plug wires on this side, two on the other side. Um, it's one, I think it's one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, four, three. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, and uh, now I got to take that condenser down or that resistor out and just connect the wires so I get 12 volts solid from the key to the top of the coil inside it, because it's internally. Uh, 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 resisted yeah uh, internally resisted then I don't need the resistor in line so we're gonna do that right now come on all right let's see what happens I double checked everything seems like I got it all in there there's plenty of fuel down in the in the filter Right here, I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, there's plenty of fuel down there, so uh, it should be enough to at least get it started. I'm really nervous, y'all. I'm nervous. A little bit nervous. I don't want anything to blow up. Let's check it. Let's see. Ready? Here we go. I'm starting this together. I don't know what's going to happen. It's probably going to be bad. What?